Who is that? Sorry. Oh, Beersley. Okay, yeah. And he told me that the second year three guys at some point throughout this year has been a weakness. How yep. today was it the complete opposite for you guys at the time? Yeah, it was. I felt like we were in the ozone basically the whole time. We got a, probably like 20 shots or something in a second. It was really good. Just the second period's all mentality, um, keeping things simple, not turning pucks over because um, – Turnovers in the second just kind of caused more damage and more chaos because it's a longer change. So that was a focus, and I thought we did a good good job tonight. You keep it in the O zone, and then sometimes they chip it out and it's just short regroup while guys try to change, and then you get back in on a on an odd man. And I thought we did did that really well tonight. The physicality was on full display against a team like Belleville that is so heavy with their decor and their forwards as well. As you're playing in that matchup, how do you navigate? Yeah, yeah. I'm, they're that's their identity. Is they're all big and physical and and heavy and hard to play against. And we knew that going in. We knew they were going to be desperate. And uh, there was really no surprises tonight on on the physicality. I thought. And then when you're playing a team like that back to back nights, how do you now translate with that in the rear view and then get ready for tomorrow? Yeah, we'll just you know, coaches will do a good job breaking down film for us and making some minor adjustments. We worked on a lot of things throughout the week that I thought we executed pretty well on and we'll make a few adjustments and uh, right back at it tomorrow. We've, you know, we go through this every weekend for the last six or seven months. So by now it's just a uh, routine. If you try to think back on all the chances in the second period and the first, yeah. how many goals do you think you guys could have had just about great eight chances? Yeah, I thought their their goalie played well. He's obviously a big boy and uh, long reach, made some good saves. Um, so credit to him. Uh, but we tested him. I thought we had some, you know some really good looks and um, had some good looks on on the power play and five on five in the second was great. Um, overall, I thought you know we did a good job testing him and and uh, he stepped up in some big moments. Obviously going down two nothing after. The yeah, that uh, you know, Wardog is such an important player to this team with with how hard he plays and how hard he competes, and you know he's added that little extra grit to his game, and he's been uh, fighting a little bit more recently. Obviously, don't need him to do that, but um, just laying up all out there for the boys, and we recognize that and. Uh, it did spark us and got us right back in it uh, early in the second there. So, I've seen you shot volume and really the great HS volume high tonight. How frustrating is it to really only score three and uh, come out on the short end today? Yeah, I mean, that, that's hockey. Like, sometimes goalies are just going to get hot, and uh, it's just the way she goes. You know, we've all been through it plenty of times, and you just got to stick with, with what's working and, and keep creating those chances. and. You know, probability says that pucks start going in over time. So. On the right side, did you guys push the playoff spot uh, tonight? How does that feel for you guys? Yeah, uh, obviously, you'd like to do it on a win, make it feel a little bit better. But it's a, it's a really hard division. Every team is uh, competitive, and there's there's no nights that feel like you can take any time off because every team, top to bottom, is uh, so good. And so. Clenching is uh, it feels good for sure. We've uh, we've earned it. Still some work to do here down the stretch. Last four games. Well, the second period, you guys were able to start getting a lot of momentum, get things going on the offensive end, and then when the third period started, Belleville was able to get things going on the offensive end right away. Where do you what do you think went wrong there in that third period? Yeah, it was it was definitely a slow start uh, in the third. They got a, a few chances early. Um, that. Uh, Power play goal they got was kind of a, I don't want to say a backbreaker, but um, that one hurt. It's just, it's just kind of the flows of the games, you know. Like it's, we pushed for the second, they pushed for the third. It's just trying to, you know, they pushed early in the first. I thought we pushed back pretty good to end end the first period. That's just, that's just the flows of the game, and uh, you know, the the longer we can keep it in their zone and and hem them in, the better chance we're going to give ourselves. But you, you got to expect a team like that that's playing desperate for their for their playoff hopes is, is going to push. And then this game seemed like a game of bronze level. Kat went on running first, and you guys went on running, then was level again. How do you guys try and learn from this one and try to not make the game of bronze until your game of bronze? 
Yeah, um, I think it, it's kind of hockey to to a degree. Like you try to simplify things, and the cliches of getting things deep and just getting pucks on that is kind of what leads to to less of those streaky runs, I'd say. But um, I thought we did a pretty good job of limiting their runs when they had them. Obviously, some things went in tonight, um, but that's just the way she goes.